All right, hello everyone, welcome. New week here at Ludovine. Gonna give you a quick menu update. Uh, we got ribeyes to start the week. We got bison tenderloin at the end of the week, which is a hot thing. We got fresh ducks in today, fresh rabbits in today, and we got chanterelles on toast, which is a great dish, I'll tell you about that. These chanterelles are huge, and they're from California. And you might say, why don't you get Oklahoma mushrooms? These are wild forage, meaning they can't be cultivated, they can't be grown you get them out of the forest. And a friend of mine who I actually met with my wife uh, on a trip to Belize, met through Facebook, uh, turns out he's a forager. We reconnected and this is what we got. So we're gonna do chanterelles on toast. It starts tomorrow on Wednesday and you'll be able to get it all weekend. And basically all you do is the chanterelle. Very simple, you can do it at home, pull it apart. So, all we're gonna do is get some heat going here. Now, as you may or may not know, we stopped using oil and butter in our cooking. We use mangalista lard from our own mangalista pigs. Lard, believe it or not, is actually better for you in cooking than butter or oil because it does not penetrate. Whereas butter and oil penetrate into your food. You always know when something's sauteed in olive oil because it tastes like olive oil. When you cook something this a clean as fat as this, you don't taste it. So, to start it off, shallots and garlic. Nice and simple. And you're gonna sweat those out. So we're gonna sweat these out a little bit. A little sea salt, a little Russ's special seasoning. I think Russ is actually gonna start selling it soon. So start looking for it in farmer's markets. So we got that. Take all these beautiful mushrooms, throw them into our pan. At that point, a little more seasoning. There you go. And all you want to do is caramelize the mushrooms a little bit because the trick to chanterelles on toast and why it's such a good dish, basically you're developing umami. You've probably read about it if you've heard about it on the Food Network. And this is just what this dish is about. Good caramelization, cooking wine. I love to use mason jars. They look cute and they're easy to hold in the kitchen. So you put your wine in. A good chunk of fresh herbs. Fresh herbs are awesome to cook with. Uh, they bring out life, they give flavor. Um, some applications use dry herbs, rarely. But when you can, always use fresh herbs. They're loud and they're bright and they just have so much more flavor than anything dry. So now we're reducing. What's gonna happen is a lot of the juice and the moisture is gonna come out of the chanterelles and then get cooked back into it. So you get even more development of flavor there. So while this is starting, what we're gonna do, take a little more lard. So yes, more lard. Right on the bread. You can use butter here, but Toast. Right in the oven. A nice sunny side up egg. Eggs from Walnut Creek Farms. Uh, you can get these from JB Pratt. Yeah, pretty sure just JB Pratt any farmer's market. They are great. Now once our white set, we put it on our handy dandy French top and let that cook through. Season them a little bit. Alright, now our wine is reduced. The mushrooms are getting nice and soft. The mason jar, heavy cream. Just a little bit. And then piece de resistance, truffle oil. And then you just let that cook until it gets right perfect sauce consistency and put it on your toast. Take them over. Don't be shy. 
Load your mushrooms on top. Oh, it smells so good in here. Pour your remaining sauce on top. Take your beautiful little farm egg here. A little truffle oil as a garnish. Right around. I love my fresh herbs. And there you go. Chantrelles on toast. Wonderful dish. Be on the menu this week. See you soon.